We right here where we supposed to be. Exactly. We right here where we supposed to be. You know what I mean? That's that what they said. That, that, what, that what going on. I ain't where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> man, fuck that shit. Kenny, pop that shit out, man. What we got going on? In hey, this man, we're going to answer 44 when we talk about that bullshit. We got the biggest global leader in this motherfucker, Hamza Sabri. What's this happening, bro? What's going on, man? Appreciate you. Hey, man, what's good? What's going on, bro? Man, Drew and this motherfucker checking in. Man, I go by Bit D. I don't know why they got me here on these motherfucking tools. Like, red coat outside. I don't know either why we got you here. I don't know. I don't, don't try nigga, try nigga drink fruit punch anyway. This ain't fruit punch. This Kool Aid, my boy. I'm Even on that worse. real sugary shit today. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> you don't mm, supposed to say you want to be on the, the sugary shit today. Sweetness. Escape nigga. Huh? I went skating the other night. Sweetness on 18. Nah, I was talking about you. Oh. Ow! <laughs> this episode was brought to you by Cuts Barbershop, 1877 Counter Road. You go in there, you're going to get the best goddamn haircut you ever had in your life. We got Vic in there working, Walt in there working, Grape in there working, Scrap will be on the way back, Big Tone got me in there working. Come in there and get your haircut or something. I'm telling you, it'll be the best haircut you don't ever got. You might look like somebody, might get you a girl, you might not. <laughs> 1877 County Road, come get one. Hey, Am. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's been up with you, bro? Look, um, look, I know, I know you've been getting ready to talk. I'm finna let you go. I'm finna shout out gold shot. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna yo, unleash you to yo, the world right now. Your goals, you know what I'm saying? It, it but goes before, 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 before we get started, I didn't have to, I have to know one thing, right? The pecan tree, bro. <laughs> Like what is up with you and this goddamn pecan tree? Cause when I be talking to you, bro, every every hustle you got, and you got a lot of them, it re- all relate back to that goddamn pecan tree. <laughs> so I want to start the show off with letting these folks know what's up with you and that fucking pecan tree. First of all, I got a question: Is the pecan tree an actual tree? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right. Oh yeah, most definitely. See, um, just growing up when I'm growing up over here, I grew up in a Muslim community right here, East Atlanta. Fayetteville Road, mm-hmm. feel me, Glenwood, and it. We had two pecan trees. When I y'all, and that was one of my first hustles that I ever thought about myself. Like, I knew that these pecans was. I, I like them. You like pecan pie? Yeah, yeah. We had one in, uh, in Kirkwood. You don't like pecan pie? What kind of pie you like? Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Okay. But the pecans though. You know they used to always grow, and I like figure out a hustle, and I knew my teachers. They like chocolate covered nuts. That's the, why teachers like that. They were white. No, they were black. They like Most you know like yo- yogurt nuts. covered nuts or anything like that. Like they always had trail mix at my house. Okay, mm-hmm. and then they had trail mix always at the school. So I was like, that's all they had to eat. So one day I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and get these pecans and I'm finna shell them, and then I'm gonna sell them to my teachers at school. Mm. Like then it was just buying them eight dollars. Sandwich bag. So I said, okay, let me get a little bit more creative. So I said, you know what? I'm going to dip. I was going, I got the the pecans, then I broke them in half, put mm-hmm. the peanut butter on top, put it back on like a sandwich, then dip milk chocolate, put it in the freezer. Now I'm selling a $20 sandwich bag. How long did it like We just went up to $12, $12 more just by doing that. And that was just like a gourmet pecan a gourmet tree. A snack. Tree. Yeah. That's a great snack. How long it took you to uh, put that shit together? Uh, one day. All day Saturday. So you pretty much spent one day and you was able to, how much you think you were bagging up? It really sound like dope talk right now. But yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> really, it is, though. It just made my own blue bed. magic. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> you had your labels on that bitch, did you? No, know, I had no labels on it. Man. It was only one source. Untraceable. It was only one source. If you put that label on, it would have been popping. Boy, what? <laughs> I mean, he yeah. already was popping. You yeah. was selling goddamn yeah. pecan yeah. for a dog. And yeah. then what, in the 90s? Early 2000s, 90s? This is like late, early 2000, yeah. 2000, yeah, 2000. 2001, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. Pecan. Real, late 90s and early 2000s, yeah. A real, I was, a real live pecan. I had host. to sell CDs. I wouldn't even, like, I had to sell four CDs to get, you know, $20. You selling one pecan and wrapping the whole shit up. No, nah, <laughs> he's selling nah, a bag. He's selling a bag. A, bag. Selling a bag. a bag of pecan. Oh. It's like in a sandwich bag. 
So you just got it. It was just like the shit that be in the uh, convenience store. Yeah. Uh, uh, the turtle shit. Yeah, you talking about like that? The little snack, the little uh, circus. But he had and peanut shit. butter. He ain't had no caramel. Yeah, like, yeah, he had peanut butter. Yeah, you killed the milk. Folk. Put it in the milk chocolate, like put it back as a sandwich, drop it in so the milk. So you had like a fun machine? <laughs> then I was back whole, but it's like a surprise. When Your you shit was like that. cocaine. I was selling weed then. That's <laughs> how his shit was compared to. Mm. You so what you had? Uh, you had the fun do machine. You were huh? doing. You had the fun do that you were dipping the shit in. How you was like getting it chocolate covered? Oh man, I was buying the. This is crazy. I, I just think I was getting the, the Hershey's. Wayne. Right out the Publix grocery store, whatever. Kroger. Mm-hmm. The chocolate bar, candy, and just put it, it put it in the pot. Put a little oh. water in there, let it melt. Oh, hot! Put a little water in there. Hot, <laughs> hot. <laughs> <laughs> Trapaholics. So, like. With that, with that being, and that was kind of your early life. What was your early life like, though? Like, after you was found, found a hustle. You, you, you said found, what? you found, you found a your entrepreneur spirit. I don't know. I just it was never even about money. It's always just like the process. The process is everything of how to, knowing how to create it. So if I know how to create it, I ain't really putting too much pressure on on having just money when I know how to create it. When I know how to produce for myself. When I know how to do for myself. Mm. Mm. So I fell in more in love with the process because that's where like that's where the money was at is in the process. If I could develop a process or system, create money, I won't need for anything. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So like that early age of me being around entrepreneurs, me being around movers and shakers throughout my community and where I'm from, it just exposed me to so much different things. Like I've been exposed to. That's what I'm grateful for, just to be exposed to so much stuff and it get make me well rounded to understand, like, okay. If I apply myself this way, I can create this. If I apply myself that way, I can create this. And I experience it all. You feel me? Right. So I like, well, you know what? I like this. I like the way this works. And let's run it up. Mm. You know? Mm. So it's like the process. I like, once I create something, generate money on it, the high go away. I got to do something new now. Mm. I want to create something new. I want to build something up from scratch. Like 2022, I got three businesses from scratch. I just started. Right. But- so it's all ain't about the process. No seed money, no nothing. Yeah, all about the process. Tell me this straight. I'm acting like I ain't got nothing. I got to figure out how to run it up. It's from starting from zero. Starting from zero. Sheesh. Nothing in the bank account. Zero dollars in the bank account. Except for the hundred dollars I used to, to open it up. And it's like, let's. So I'm masterminding now. Where you get your confidence from to do that? Uh, just being raised around moves and shakers, hustlers. Like what, you know, what What did you see what, 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 When you say movies and shakers What were they doing Like man, what What's somebody you seen That stuck in your head Was like Oh yeah you You a hustler Let me model myself Kind of after you Um, uh, The first The first person That I ever That I seen up close And it was like It was so big And so real to me That was my uh, Uncle Nazi They had a clothing store Right down Clint, Glenwood mm -hmm. With the dresses And stuff outside and, Right Yeah me working there. Right there next to the gas station. Huh? Yeah. Right there next to the gas station. On Phillips 86? Yep. Yeah. So he used to own he used to own that that business, selling clothes and stuff like that. And I used to go up there, hang up, hang there all the time. And he started showing me how to sell. Really start showing me like how to make the customer come in and buy. Mm. Like marketing. This is not a museum. There ain't nobody just looking here. He he was just a not know what he say to people, but his concept was like, you know, they in your house. You got to greet them. You know where the products at. You know where all the clothes at. You know where the sizes are. You need to let, find out what they sell, what color they like. Find all these things out. Qualify them. Build rapport with them. Create an experience. You feel me? And, you know, and ask for the sale. Don't be scared to ask for the sale. Because the worst thing they can say is no. Facts. You got to you gotta just shoot your shot. How you ask for a sale? Because I don't know how to do that shit. Yeah, you you you, you just think your word is going to speak for a Yeah, but do. teach me how to do that shit right now. So you ask for a sale without actually selling. Hey, like man. It's more, it's more through these three things that I learned. Feature, advantage, benefit. You be able to give me the feature. So, slow, the, slow the hell down. Hold on. We're going to put that bitch in second again. You just <laughs> went to third fast as hell. Drop down a second. You said three. What the hell you just say? I said it's feature, advantage, and benefit. Yeah, you heard it, child. Like that's the... Three mechanisms to selling So it's not like Hey can you buy this Or will you buy this It's more like Here's the feature Here's the advantage Now here's the benefit It's gonna sell Does that make sense? For sure uh, Yeah So if you give me a feature Or something Well the feature could be That's okay, how it go This is this This is this water bottle here You know right. what I'm saying uh, Suck and suck water bottle <laughs> You feel me? Mm -hmm. So 
that's the feature now. What's the advantage? The, the advantages of this, you feel me? The advantages of this is that you don't have a plastic bottle. You have a glass bottle, and you you can reuse it. Now, what's the benefit? The benefit of this actually water in here is gonna give you like the highest level pH that you need to be all nutritious for your body. Mm. So I just gave you the feature. I gave you the advantage. I just gave you the benefit. You now you're like, okay, how much is it? You telling me? I'm ready to buy. And this way you get your goddamn. Hey, look, it really go for thirteen, but I get you for eight. <laughs> Going, yeah. you give me two. Matter of fact, I give you two for the eighteen. Yeah, you sound I'm like with. you know what you're doing. Shit, it sound like me and Bruffin to open up a shop. We might, <laughs> we might sell that man his shop. That you know what I mean? No, nah, but but learning learning from him though, learned a lot. And then when I graduated high school, like I went to his store out in Fairburn and I ran it. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I was responsible, like beginning to end, like inventory bringing in, locking up, closing. Like he bought me my first car, brother Nazi bought me my first car, uh, 1980, 1981 Honda Accord two door, the square manual stasher, manual stasher. Mm-hmm. I ain't even. I ain't, that's how I learned how to drive stick. That one had the seatbelt that go on its own. You feel me? <laughs> I learned how to drive stick. So it was like this is real deal. I'm manager of a store, pretty much. Yeah, you feel me? It was, it was like we were doing numbers, you know. Fairmar ain't ain't nothing going on out there. Hell, fuck I'm on, I'm on no. an off off brand street, no traffic. So it's like whatever, come in again, sold. <laughs> but you got to take this you shit with me? you. I can't keep. So yeah, this they shit. not coming just stopping by. They coming for this store. Uh, yeah. yeah, they coming for this store. It's and, nothing and else it's, 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 it's not a desperation, but it sort of is. It's like. Thank you for coming in the goddamn store. Got, uh, my thing is like I got to make this an experience, a uh, relaxing experience for you, and then also. You know, I have to qualify you and and show you something in here that's going to be for you, because I know you got the money to buy. Because you're here, looking. And another okay. thing with that, you just don't want to get it for now. You want to keep them coming back, so you got to be able to really get verbal and have yeah. that vibe with the them. experience. Yeah, 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 the experience is there. Experience yeah, really. is like buying experience is everything. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's why that's that's one of the reasons why I, I got a uh, an iPhone. Because <laughs> Yeah bro Like buying the iPhone bro Like when you They make it so easy For you to buy them Like it's so It's so easy for you To just go on your phone And hit a button And that shit be in the mail to you Right Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying Like it's, it's It's really easy Not only that Like you just click Boom Yeah Amazon's it, done Yeah Amazon Yo I'm, I'm a I'm, Amazon got me Like so when they put When they put the slide The The, the ones Buy now the buy now button? Yeah. Oh man, I be drilling that bitch. I'ma keep it G. I don't order online. I sent I cash out somebody beside me just go buy it. I don't got none of that on my phone. I don't get digital on my phone like that. That childish. You can call it whatever, man. You like I'm doing what, you what it is. You need to grow with the world. I think so too. Yeah. I think I That's think why we got I, the global leader here. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th- I think it's good that you said what you said, D. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most So What's the most You ever made In that store Like if one, you, When you was doing Inventory and day, counter, Yeah uh, The biggest day That we did In that store I did 7500 On Saturday And that was mm. from That was from this uh, uh, Mexican family That came in there mm-hmm. They dropped the bag Yeah 7500 They spent 7500 and that was with you You working your no, move Working the sale move I, And they, all that Customers spent 7500 there But they spent the most of it I think they spent about Maybe like 3600 3, Or Right $4,000 But they were one of the, the biggest The biggest They, came in, they, they came in And spent that much Yeah They didn't Damn. spend the whole 7500 But it was 7500 all day mm. You know So I got 10% Ooh, so you ain't good that day. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, fifteen hundred dollars a little day. You know what I'm saying? For 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 one day of work. How old you were? Eighteen. Oh, yes, yeah. Seven was good. Was seventeen didn't graduate high Honda. school. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen. 17? Yeah. Seventeen in the uh, What you do with the money? Uh, I blew it. I blew it fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you say fast. I blew so, it fast. No, I, no, that's the thing about it. That's one thing I like to do. I like to blow that shit so I can go get some more. Right. Like so, that was my mindset Like there wasn't like Investing on it It's like blowing and, and honestly I don't know What I blowing on I was a real giving person So I probably gave money away Bought shit for people You know what I mean mm, Just living life like a Yeah But I was like I can get it I was like I, I, I know how to get it Right You feel me I know how to do it I so got a recipe it, And it won't be fun if I say the money Cause then I was like I gotta have a reason to go That's the only reason Not to go when you got money that how, That's how my brain Was processing back then Like 
blow it so we can go get. I got a high off of making money, not even having it. That's fast. Mm. I would make it. I went through that stage. It's just like I you made making so much, it. Just like man, bro, I made man, people I'm so much money. Shit. I'm finna get right back to it. I made people so much money to give it to them. I, I know I'm making this money. Just like here, it's like whatever you give me, you give me. But I ain't tripping. I'm finna go out here and get some more. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> I think I got right there. Hey, uh, let's break for a minute. I think I got emergency because she called him back to back. Okay. Hold on one second, yo. Golly. Oh, she thick as hell. Say hello, mama. Where you going? Um, I'm finna go to the store. You finna go to the store? Yeah. Let me get your number. Uh-uh, I'm good. Fuck, man. Hell God no. God damn. Oh. Fuck it. Hell no. Hey, Glow. What you did after you got down, build up this store? So, what was your next hustle after then? Because uh, you global with this shit. No, my next hustle after that, I went straight to the car business. To I went, car business? I said, yeah, I went straight into the car business. I was like, I want to I wanna learn selling more, but I want to get more from like a bigger organization. Okay. And I want to have no ceiling so I can make as much money as I want to. So, it was like, if you don't sell no car, you don't eat. So that really going to make me be a beast. You be figured you could sell, sell anything. Yeah, so um, at that time, I got married at that time. I had a son on the way. So I went over there to the um, to the dealership at the Nally Honda out there in Union City. Walked in there, I said, you know, I want to sell cars. And it filled out an application and everything. Then they sent me, right same day, sent me on the little library room, did an interview, said... Why should we hire you? I was like, I got a baby and I'm married. They said, okay, that's a good enough answer. <laughs> got family to feed, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Preach. You feel me? So I said, it was all about from there. First day I was on, the first day I was there, I sold my first car. I ain't look back. One day. Yeah. First day I was there. The first day? Yeah. Tough. What you remember what kind of car it was? A Honda. A goddamn! I'm saying, yeah, I know it was it was a 2008 Honda Core EXL V6. That nigga remember the fur car? What color was it? Burgundy with the little peanut butter seats in it. Ooh, Ooh they had the sunroof. <laughs> yeah, they had the sunroof. Yeah, got the sunroof. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was EXL. It was an EXL. Now it upgraded. You know what I'm saying? What the L for? Limited edition. A luxury. Luxury, okay. <laughs> but EX normally had a sunroof though. Huh? Yeah, EX gonna come with the sunroof. EX gonna come with the sunroof. EXL gonna come with the leather. Uh huh. Luxury leather. You get mm. all of that. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Some EXs come with that leather too. Huh? Some EXs come with that leather too. No, you can put it in the aftermarket. You want to bet some money? No, nah, that's an old one. We're talking about the new one. Oh, we talking about the old. I was talking about the old. Oh, you talking, talking about 2005, 2006. We talking yeah. about 2008, brand oh, see, new. See. You feel me? I don't yeah. know nothing about that. I, yeah. I, 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 you that's know what I'm That's out of my line. 17 inch alloy wheel the come ugly, on them. Them the ugly Hondas, though. Oh, yeah. Them ones that made the more money. For real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ones in 05 that made the most? No, no, no. It was, it was the Maybe new body style. No the new body I style thought change. The 95 would have made the most. No, nah, the 95 hold the best value. Yeah. To this today, you're going to buy one of 7,500 right now. <laughs> yeah. With 359 million man, miles man. on it. The ACN, he working in that bitch. Yeah, that bitch had 400,000 miles on that bitch. Still want 10,000 for that bitch. <laughs> He was like, God yeah, damn, that man, what the fuck? They so expensive. Between 93 and 96. Yeah, they when they realized them bitches weren't breaking, and now we got to make sure shit they're going to break. <laughs> yeah, Those yeah, they're cars, China, still, China, You ain't never China, seen China, one of them hot on the side of the road to this day. <laughs> I, st- I have never seen one. On the side of the road, oh, it is. It ain't no know. fucking engine problem. It's goddamn, they done fucked some other that, shit. A tire or some right. shit like that. Right. Like you did, Pops that, had that white one. Yeah. yeah. Everybody used to drive that. You don't see no hot on the road, on the side of the road. No. No. You're going to see them on the road, but not on the side of the road. Uh-huh. So how long you stayed there? I stayed there for, it was like my college. That was my, I didn't want to go to school. Uh-huh. I made that out in eighth grade. I tried to drop out of school. They won't let me. I tried to drink my GED. My parents won't let me. Yeah, school kind of was in the way for a nigga. It was like in the way for, honestly it was, because no disrespect for the school I went to. I, you know, I learned more out here, in the, out here in this world than I learned actually in school. What school you went to? You feel me? I went to a private Muslim school. Oh, uh, went on, you know, Muhammad on the street. Atlanta. Yeah. On Fayetteville. Yeah, Fayetteville. So, I think I learned more of of culture, mannerism, you know, principles, character, morals, ethics, integrity more than really academics. Mm. So I know I know how to read and I know how to comprehend what I read and I know math. I like 
I feel like that's all I really need. And most of all the moves and shakers and hustlers that I know, they ain't go to school. So it's like, why am I in school? And uh, I'm getting I'm getting money. <laughs> oh, I got I got a mindset to do it because I'm ready to get I'm ready to go on with my real life. I'm ready to make for real life to happen. Let's go. Let's get it. Right. So it's like I wasn't going to school, but it's like I was a firm believer that okay, I ain't got to go to school, but that don't mean that I can't be educated, and I I cannot go to school but still be educated. So I like I created my own curriculum for myself. So I said, you know, I'm going to go to. Sell cars for four years. That was mm-hmm. my bachelor's. And then I did special finance for one year. That was my master's. At the same alley? No, I went to Nissan South of Morrow. Mm-hmm. Did special finance. Mm-hmm. Learned how to deal with bad credit. So our series are learning banks and lending and credit and how it works. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And you learn from people the, that went to school. or well, I got all the yeah. training. When you work with new corporations, they send you to all the trainings. Yeah, yeah they you know pay. They going to pay Brian you. Brian Tressler, you learn, yeah. psychology of sales, Zig Ziglar, Gold, Les Brown. Mm. Like so, it's like I'm making money and I'm getting and I'm getting educated at the same time. So it's just turning turning me into a beast. Yeah, you are getting qualified. So then after that, after that five years, I was done. I was good. I checked out. I always they always try to promote me management. You know, finance manager. Right. You know, sales manager. And I was like, no, that's the hot seat. I ain't, mm. I'm not. I'm not here. I'm, I'm not here for a long time. Ooh. So what you did after that? You went there for a long time. You said five years. Uh, next. Then after that, I was just like, you know what? Um. Whatever amount of money that I want to make, I don't want to exchange my time for it. So I was just always just trying to figure out how to solve that problem. How to make money without using your time? Yeah. Without exchanging my time for it. Like, mm-hmm. I could get somebody one hour of my time for $10. It didn't make sense to me. No. But I was like, now I ain't getting my hour back. My hour worth more than that $10. I was like, what can I do to make $10? Like, just think of that. All right, sell four packs of socks, I make $10. So I'm like, that took me goddamn... Two minutes So it's like I start Evaluating time With money And realizing that money This money is not My time more important To be freedom Not I'm not free If I'm focused on How to make it To the next week Or next, to the next Two weeks Or next month You feel me mm-hmm. I'm not really free I'm always having my head down I'm not really living That's what I ain't even gonna lie I'm alive But I'm not living You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying mm-hmm. That's that job shit yeah. I ain't even gonna lie It, it sucks sometimes But on the other side of it, You get your time I just feel like you gotta have a plan because jobs stand for just over broke. Facts. That's what a job is, just over broke. So it's like I start realizing that in order for me to make more money, it's not to get more jobs. You know, most people say, you know, what? I'm gonna get extra hours, I'm gonna get another job, part time job, make more money. That's like you wearing your body out. Mm. Okay, I'm sure That's what they, when people think about most. When, when someone thinks like, what's an extra stream of income? They think like, I'm gonna go get another job, or I'm gonna get some extra hours. That's not enough extra income. You putting that wear and tear on your body. Mm-hmm. I hate earned income. I hate that shit with a passion. Yeah, it hurt too. I hate. I hate, yeah, bro. <laughs> it hurt. It hurt. Well, well, you see that number? Didn't see that. Uh, what the other one in net? That's what you mean. No, what I mean by earned income is that money you have to physically do to get paid. Like mm. working at McDonald's is earned income. Working a job that's earned income. You feel me? If I got to put something together in order to get paid, that's an earned income. I don't want to do that. I want my money to work for me. And how I want you passive that? income. And how you managed to uh, make that happen? Because you made it happen. I had to figure out the algorithm. There was a lot of failures, trials and tribulations, mentally doubting myself, going through my 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 my, my moments of, of depression and, you know, gathering myself and, and just growing. You feel me? Got all that information, but it's like, what are you going to do with it? How are you going to apply it? Right. I just sat my mic down. I want to listen. I don't even want to say that. I'm, he's he talking the truth. Yeah. I'm listening. You feel me? Like, I just... That was just the most important thing to me. It was like the battle for me was mm-hmm. my mindset. Mm-hmm. As in, once I finally locked in on my mind and how I wanted to process, how I want to take certain stuff out and not let certain stuff come in and, and focus and align myself, it was a wrap. It was yep. over with. And once bro- I really believed in myself, what I was capable of doing was a wrap. And that brought you over to your next hustle. Next, next hustle. Next hustle was a career, rather. 2014. You feel me? That's when um, I worked with a construction company as a project manager. I ain't no shit about project manager. I ain't no shit about construction. <laughs> Demolition, asbestos, removal, mold remedial. I ain't know nothing about it, but had the opportunity to take on and went to went to uh, got my certification in asbestos. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't even attend the, the, the school. I just I just read a pamphlet and it came on the day of the test and took it and it passed. I was like, bet, got it. Let's go. Hired on 
I'm training myself how to read blueprints, how to do takeoffs, how to put estimates together, like all that stuff. Because it's like you you on the job, like it's time to get paid, bro. Stop right. Work. So I like my back against the wall like that. Make me turn up on myself. The owner come in and said, "Well, shit, you gonna have to um, you gonna have to learn federal acquisition regulation, which is all the laws and clauses mandated with government contract because we do 100 percent of our business with the government." And I'm like, "Well." <laughs> I'm already goddamn trying to figure out how to real blueprints. Right? <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure <laughs> all this shit out. You know, now I'm really like, oh, it's time to go. So yeah, I read 2,038 pages of federal laws that's pertaining to doing business with the government. You feel me? And then I found the algorithm and I applied it. And then 10 months of me working at a company, I did. It was a mom and pop company. Well, I mean mom and pop, they were a smaller minority owned construction company. Mm-hmm. That previous year, they grossed about $750,000. You feel me? Uh, when I came in first 10 months, I put 1.6 on, on the books. Shit. You feel me? From federal, state, government agencies doing business with FAA, Homeland Security, uh, U.S. Coastal Guard, U.S. Army, man, Department of Interior, Department of Defense, EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, and a lot of, you know, City of Atlanta State, you know, Griffin, a lot of state contracts. I would say they had me doing projects domestically and internationally. You feel me? Mm. Only came to me and said, you know, you crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the hell you doing. What you doing? <laughs> you know, you doing, doing, doing that. Hey, listen, we're going to bring about three more people in. I want you to train them. You know, what, what the hell have you do? So, whoa, 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 whoa. So, first of all, you were doing a co- government contract. Yeah. You were doing it so well that he wanted you to train three more people. My own, uh, my unorthodox ways. <laughs> mm. You feel me? Because I feel, like, I, 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 fi- I figured out the, the, I figured out a strategy, a niche, a loophole to get the business. Same way, like the pecans, correct? Yeah. All right, keep going. You feel me? So after that, I'm like, oh snap, I got value. I got value. I see worth. You know. Um. So I come back to the drum board. I said, you know. Pay me off a percentage of the contract. I don't want to get paid from now on. You had value. You seen value, which created. Well, I, don't no sal- I don't want no. I don't want salary. I don't want no bonus. I just want percentage of the money. Right. Because you knew what you was doing. I knew what I was doing. Right. If I see the number coming in and my shit not the percentage. Right. So after that, but I learned project management, and everything too, administrative management, and all that stuff because I'm doing stuff from beginning to end, literally. Going after work, writing up the proposals, securing the deal with the government, talking back and forth correlations with the government, then sourcing out a team to get the job done and manage them and execute it, then sent back all the submittals and close out documents and documentation needed to submit an invoice to get paid. You know, the only thing I'm doing is not depositing the check in my bank account. I'm getting it to the owner. <laughs> you follow you me? You pretty so, much did everything but I, the hand, the manual labor. Yeah. Oh, then we didn't do no manual handling. Maybe manual labor at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. I believe. You know, um, but we knew how to work with people, and that taught me how to work with people because I'm young. And when you young and in that management, and you over older people that's doing this skill for 15, 13, 20 years, and they talking about they gotta get directed from the manager, like fuck a day up in their head. And I'm like, listen, hey, you know what? I don't know how to use that saw. I don't use that hammer. I only use that tool. That's what you're here for. That's why you had the skills for. But do you know how to work Microsoft Excel? Do you know how to mar- work Microsoft Word? Do you know how to write emails? Do you know how to, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Negotiate. Do you know how to do a change order documentation? Exactly. So let me do my skill. You do your skill. Let's work together. Let's get it. I'm stay out your way. Because I'm going based off of your skill set. What you say, how, how, many, how many days it's going to take you to remove this floor tile? I'm going off your day. So if you say, hey, it's a thousand square foot of floor tile, and you're saying it's only going to take me four days, or on day two, you better be 50% done. <laughs> if you're not 50% done now, it's like, okay, you, you need more manpower or you need more hours. Because we got to stay on schedule. I'm going off what you say. I hang niggas with their words. You know what makes sense? Hell yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I was able to come off no hurdles because I used to get so much shit, bro. Mm-hmm. And to deal with racism too, as a young manager, you dealing with because white co- construction is a way is 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 a, is a white man's game. Yeah, man. Old white man game. Old yeah. white man game. Yeah, you gotta be smart. You play yourself out. Yeah, cause they'll say something to you, little boy. 
Hold on, little boy. What you they do? They tried too. Oh, they say all oh, kind of still get on my skin. Yeah, but it's you like know about that. I'm not gonna crash out though. I did electrical work, so I was I was out there. Yeah, I did, man. We doing slab jobs to goddamn big buildings downtown, the NCR building downtown. Mm-hmm. Did that building? Did the uh, what's it? The uh, stadium, um, State Farm. Yeah, did that shit. Did all the little sweets up there, the top golf shit, all that shit. That shit racist as a motherfucker. They were calling it boy. They ain't never disrespect me like that. <laughs> what they were doing worse? Nah, they do shit like they'll put you outside. You know what I mean? They'll do shit like that when it's raining yeah. outside and shit. They have they people on the inside doing they little hanging little shit like this, little little outlets and sockets. I feel you. And it's different and then, when you're in the middle of nowhere, Virginia, the VTech facility, mm-hmm. and you got to get there by coordinates. It ain't none of you but out there with some white contractors. Hmm. Ain't no service on the phone. How the fuck? Ain't you no do? service. How the fuck you get? How, how you? Do and then you out there without the phone. You out there trying to what do I, it. What I well, once you get there, by the time you get there in that facility in the actual building, there's no service in there. They be having builders with no service. Damn. Yeah. The NCR not, building. Not for your phone. Your phone. Your regular old commercial phone ain't gonna work. Got had that big net sale. You, they phones gonna work. Mother. In the, in the NCR building, they That's blow up ATMs answer. in that building. Right. It's no service in the bottom area of that building. <laughs> We had to build an installation on the wall that's so thick mm-hmm. where you go inside this little chamber, it looked like, you know what I mean, like a they blow the ATM up to see if they bulletproof. That's what they test them at. Yeah. <laughs> that shit, no service down there. Yeah. Damn it, boy. And they're sending, get what? All y'all, no service. Y'all ain't gonna be on y'all phone. They get your ass in there. We're gonna have Johnny over here up in the ceiling. Right. Mm. Yeah. What so, you come with all of that? You, it, it, the, the, the favoritism, classes, it's a dirty game. everything. So the, the, the construction. They gave me the tough skin. Yeah, the, 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 that, that's exactly what I was finna get they, to. They too. gave me the ability that to know game. how to take shit and not let nobody control you, like get you out of your own self. And you could beat them mentally you too. You won. Right. So that 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 mixed with the government Oh yeah, every time I, I mess up the hours. What turned you into I mess up the hours every time. Every time payroll come, I, I, they check, oh, you always, they, they check always fucked up. Damn, yeah. man, my bad, bro. I forgot about them 60 days you worked. <laughs> we wanted to rewrite that check. It's gonna take another two weeks. Mm. You can always outsmart them, bro. <laughs> you feel me? You got it. Hey, look, it's shit. You gonna play? I'm gonna play with yeah, you. We gonna play. Yeah, yeah. You win for now. Catch you later. Uh, okay. And that led you in the government contract, the man, and teaching. Yeah, so I learned a lot. But f- but from that, I realized how powerful this information I have, you can't go to school, you can't learn this, and I have a recipe to do it. You know, I secured my first government contract in 2016, Clayton County Public School System, three-year contract, sell rat traps and tissue and paper towel. And big ass rat traps that go outside? A glue trap, they were glue traps. <laughs> oh, shit. How much you made out of them? How much you made out of them? We took care of the road problem. We took care of the road problem. Man. We need you in the streets. We need you in the streets. We need my man in the streets, man. We need to set them traps up all down. Count the Glenwood. Take it to East. Where you ain't got them motherfucker from? Family Dollar. Listen, think about it. Nah, I ain't go to Family Dollar. I won that first. That's my first contract that I won for myself. Uh huh. As I came in the game crazy, unorthodox, winning contracts for other businesses. You feel me? So I knew the paperwork process. I knew how to secure the deal. So I was like, during the whole time, I was like, what am I going to sell to the government? And I, and I finally identified a lane, a niche that I was able to source out. I went for a government contract. I won it. First bid I ever submitted for myself. I won it. Clayton County Post School. Mm. Four, year con- four year contract. Yeah, one year optional. I mean, one year base, three year optional. And I performed each year and they renewed, it, renewed the contract. It just got expired. It's 2020. Mm-hmm. I won that in 2016. You had like you a brand contract So I didn't have the money I didn't have no money To finance the contract How you made that happen? I, that let me know You don't need no money To, to, to secure the deal Neat. You gotta show that You're able. You capable You're able And you're able to ex- Execute And you got the competent Infrastructure And you know how to Source out and manage You gotta show the execution And know how you'll Put your price together Based off of what your Customer is asking for I get the white piece of paper Then I turn it into Green piece of paper mm. Question mm. Question the, you have a, a you have a thing where you can actually do do you actually bid do you have a a woman with you to get those minority uh-uh. contracts too uh-uh. you know the what I'm talking about though right yeah I know what you, exactly what you're talking about but the government don't need the government don't see you and say whether they're doing business with you yeah you know what I mean it's based on what you submit and how you submit it in how you prepare 
how you put your quote together, how you put your price. It's all about the laws and evaluation process and stuff like that. But you know, most exactly people talk about, about minority certifications, women on certifications, and they, they help they, a little bit though, right? That, At I'm times, saying, uh, you know, me. From, from, I feel from, like you want to say no, but you just hell no. The certification ain't no guarantee of shit. It's just certification that creates you to be in this certain group or status to be able to get more business. So it's like it puts you in a smaller room with bigger opportunity. So instead of having just small business or 500 small businesses in one room competing for some work, then it could be you. this is only set aside for minority-owned businesses or women-owned business, so it makes it a smaller competing opportunity right. with, a, with bigger you know, market for you to, to, to achieve. So if you don't know how to work, the certifications is useless. Just like if you don't know how to work the saw, how are you going to cut something? Or you don't know how to work the hammer, how are you going to put some nail, nail something? You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. the key thing is knowing how to apply. use it, how to apply it. Most people get the certification and say, oh, I'm, 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 cert- I'm a certified, I'm a minority certified business. I'm like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Fair. Oh, I'm a minority owned business. I'm like, and? okay, what, what you own minorities? <laughs> you know, I'm lost. You got you got to not lead your business in with a certification, but lead it in with your niche. Like Globe Connects, we janitorial supply company. Then I go into, oh, by the way, we minority. By the way, we certify. But it's like those opportunities are there. Don't get me wrong. But I'm saying when I say no, I mean that if you don't know how to work the tool, you won't get anything out of it. Right. Like most of us think that oh, get the certification. I print money now. They're gonna call me. Mm-hmm. Right. It's still. It's still advertising tools you use to market. So in this whole government contracting world, I learned how to market to the world's largest customer, which is different in the private sector. It's public sector money different than the private private sector money. It's a different protocol, different way of marketing, different way of language, different way of doing business. And I was like, damn, if I could do business with the government, I could do business with anybody. Mm-hmm. That would it taught me, prep me up, because I'm doing more paperwork ever in government work than I'm doing on the private side. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So, like, I learned a skill that you don't go to school for, you don't learn from SBA.gov, or you don't get off Google. Like, I learned a real skill that's niche. And I said, damn, I could create a business out of this. But before I go into that, let me tell you how I financed the government contract that I won. They ain't had no money. Mm-hmm. But I knew that this government contract was money, it was value. This contract is worth something. I took that to the supplier. I drove there. It was like two and a half hours away from here. I drove straight to the supplier. I drove straight to the plug. Walked right in. I said, um, I need to speak to the decision makers. And everybody looking at me crazy, like, oh, he's about to shoot somebody in here. <laughs> <laughs> the little black man, they come walk right in here, talk about these speak to, to, the to the decision makers. Uh, you feel me? Like, I said, what he said. And then one of the managers came out. I was like, listen, I got a government contract, but I ain't got no money. That's the, that was my line. That what you opened up with? That's exactly what I said. I ain't saying my name. Well, about I got a government contract, but I ain't got no money. They're like, uh, yeah, let me go get the other manager. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, let's step back. No, I ain't got time to step back. over. here it is on the table. Let's read that. Go over that. You know, they vetted me out. They said it was legit. They said, oh, we gonna put you on net thirty. Big. I said, tell me what net thirty is. You know, how <laughs> <laughs> fuck you doing all this shit? Getting all this shit done? You know what the fuck net thirty was? Like. Learn as you go. Learn that. I you know. Go. I know. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm saying what net thirty is to to, uh-huh. to to them. Like, explain that to me. And it was like, well, we're gonna give you the product, you know, because I know how to get paid net thirty. But it's like, oh, okay. but you were on net thirty. I'm like, hold on, I'm on net thirty. <laughs> I heard you get paid net thirty, but right. I'm on it now. So okay, cool. How does that work? You know, I'm type of person that I ain't gonna act like I know everything. I'm like 50% For those who don't know uh, What is net 30 A wise man said 50% Of uh, being intelligent Saying you don't know When you don't know There you mm-hmm. go You know what I'm saying So I didn't know I said so tell me Educate me So net 30 mean that You pretty much get in front of the product And you got 30 days to pay them So I got front of the product Plain County said Hey we need this amount Of many uh, glue traps I go ahead and Send the order over To the supplier Supplier front me the product You got, you got 30 days to pay us yeah, that's when why they call made, it, made a delivery. They call it net thirty because it's you only get thirty days. You got thirty, 30 days pay yeah. profit. So I, I I I I make the delivery. Clay County Public School paying me that same following Friday. You ready? Took mine off top. I was paying my supplier on time before time to build oh. that relationship tight. That look good. I was gonna ask you, mm. how did you? you know I mean? How did you hide the numbers on that contract so you can cap on top? 
Well, I understood what, what market. No, I understood what wholesale was, and I understood what market retail was. So, now, and that difference was, difference I knew how much was. money I was gonna make. Mm-hmm. You yeah. already had your amount. You just had almost definitely. The, the cap was yeah. already in there. Yeah, you feel me? Look, you know, it was already. I put mine on top. Ben put it on before I submitted it in the government. Put mine on top. Okay. Uncle mm. Sam get paid, but Uncle Ham get paid too. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> Hello. So listen, the, the, the first year I say all my profits. I ain't spend them. I just spend, I say all the money. I say all the profit. Then I went back to the supplier and said, look, I'm buying from y'all straight up. Here go the cat. That means that the price went down. Cause you know when you get front, it's a little premium on it. Oh yeah, both mm-hmm. do. So when you're paying up front, my profit margin went up another eleven percent after that. For spending it up front now. Mm. Now this dispersing out to public school systems. So, you know, it, it turned out to be de- decent. You know, we leveraged it, got more other go- government contracts and stuff like that. And when I really start knowing the skill, mm-hmm. I start providing, I really started making a lot of money when I was building out a business module to where I won contracts for other people and then they pay me a percentage of the contract value. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's like contract I'm still eating on right now for the next four years. But somebody else got to do the work. Somebody else Probably. do the work. I just send them an invoice. Yeah, that's tough. I got one contract right now Pay me six figures I got, I make a, about a little bit over 100, 103,000 A year I don't do no oh. work I just I just secured the deal Now I eat on it You know I just sit in the invoice Every month Get a check mm. I could get it all up front But I really had that cash flow And the cash flow is better Yeah So that's That's what Uncle Sam tax less On the cash flow Than you doing that lump sum You feel me Mm-hmm Shit. Nah, you hard, y'all. Hey, y'all gonna have, man, they gonna have to start paying. <laughs> Listen, we fronting y'all this shit. Now, you need to come bring this net 30 knowledge back and come bring <laughs> it back to us, and we're gonna bust it down. What, do you get 10? <laughs> and you're gonna get 40. Oh, whoa, 10, whoa, whoa, you whoa, get whoa. 10, and I'm gonna get the other 50. Because <laughs> that's how we rocking. We get 100%, 110% profit because with the profit margin is right there. And then we're gonna reach our peak sales. Fellas, we don't need to talk. Talk about this. We need to just go. I think we should do it. See that? That's a smart man. I, I, I want to have my lawyer look over first. Now, see. <laughs> now, that's, that's a, a smart man. A right smart there. nigga. <laughs> we got us a smart nigga. That's a <laughs> smarter nigga. God damn. Hey, what you trying to get some knowledge, nigga? <laughs> so look, we're gonna go into the um the education side of things where you're teaching government contract. Oh yeah, man. Man, that's but um, I have to go get my fucking daughter. Nigga, go get her. I'll go get her. Yeah, so y'all, y'all, y'all. Man, that's crazy. Four, 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 four on your phone. I know, that's man. That's crazy. I know. So y'all finna finish this up. Twin, let them nigga finish it, or I could come back in 10 minutes, however y'all want to play it. Come back in 10 minutes, gonna be tagged. God damn it. I know, he got something to do. I just no, gotta go. You ain't tell me. You tell me. Ain't yeah, I'm finna, I'm finna go, go to South of the Cab and. We heard you five yeah, times. No, you ain't no, gone no, yet. No, Cab 911, how may I help you? I mean, what's the address? Damn, bring up your fucking up. You said it did what? What what's the address? Okay, so what's the emergency? Your daughter's baby daddy wants to shoot your house up because you wouldn't let him see his child. Well ma'am, you should have stayed your ass out of that shit. I don't know what to tell you. And you was talking shit back to him. And he said he'd come clap the house up. Well, duck when he busts. That's all I can tell you. I'm going to dispatch you to another operator so they can help you better assist you. Motherfucker won't let the sick child see the... These people. Have you ever? Have you? You ever, got the only. You, you got the only fans. Yeah. Have you ever fucked any of your bo- business partners, homegirls, or anything like any of your homegirls? Nah. That was nah. the subject today. So you ain't never I fucked kinda, any of your homegirls. Nah. Why yeah. I can't hear you in the mic? I don't know, but I can hear me. You ever fucked any of your partners? Oh, no. I right, none of your friends, none of your business friends, uh, and none nah, of that shit. Uh, okay. That was uh, what I take. We doing good. You don't. Uh, hold on. Before we start, hold on. Won't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Chant. I'm gonna I'm say what's up. Everything good. I'm married. <coughs> I know that right. Uh, <laughs> it is not recorded. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a, it is clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the red dot? I am happily married. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. No, I'm my previous life. No, no, I ain't never been previous. I've always been previously married. 
<laughs> Dedicated. You, you're a bad man. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I always been man. previously married. I heard him. I said shit. <laughs> it is no one before that. One. <laughs> the, Don't play. The, the, she lost her virginity. The, the, oh shit. Nah. The same thing oh, to him. They wow. lost it to each other. Goddamn. <laughs> yes. Nah, for real. Nah, I, I never mix uh, you know, the cash with the with the you know ash. The business You don't miss the business With the business You feel me Like It's a pleasure It just uh, It don't never go out Now it's different When you got your You got your significant other You got your wife You got your spouse You got your You know what I'm saying Your ride or die Y'all You know what I'm saying That's different But when it comes Like running business Hiring people Do the that boop, 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 Leave that shit alone Leave that shit for real Hey man, What's the most You ever made On a uh, government contract the most I ever made on the government contract is that thing about it is I ain't never won a million dollar contract. I ain't never won a, a multi million dollar government contract. That you was say never you never won one or won it one. Never, never, never won one or never created that as my niche. Now I secure a multi million dollar contracts for clients and businesses and stuff like that. But for myself, mm-hmm. my lane was to get the low hanging fruit. So what I understood was under the simplified acquisition procedure that allows the government contracting officer agency to give you a no bid contract up to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars domestically, one point five million dollars internationally. If your company is competent and has the past performance and a rapport to be able to execute that project, whether it's service or product, when it trickles down the state, it's one hundred fifty thousand. When it trickles down the city, county, it's twenty five thousand. But it varies. So my thing was to get that opportunities that was under those thresholds that I didn't have to bid for. They just do business with me. So my thing was getting. That type of business, but in volume, so generated seven figures, but never secured a seven figure contract because that wasn't my lane. I wasn't going after writing those proposals or bids for those particular contracts. I just killed it in volume by understanding the thresholds in each counties and cities across this map, how they spend without putting stuff out for bid. They can just do business with you. So you um, made seven figures. Yeah. Okay. Nah, I, I like the ride we took, but we yeah. got off the exit at seven figures. I just want to make sure <laughs> this was the exit we got off of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was seven figures. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we generated, but mm-hmm. never landed a seven figure contract. Get it. Because mm-hmm. I never put the effort towards going for it, but I did it for other businesses. My lane was like, I didn't want to bid. I didn't want to do paperwork. It's like once I market it and create the relationship, I just want to do business. So if it's under $10,000, they just, Hems will put this on our purchasing card. Hems will want to purchase this. Or they just reaching out Purchase orders in the email So I may get a purchase orders $1,000 $2,000 $5,000 $3,500 But it be all in one week right. Might got 30k worth of purchase order In one week Right You feel me? Yeah That totally makes sense So how did you find your niche? Because I feel like I'm gonna tell you where you go <clears throat> I feel like All that compound Education And Life learning experience Is what Built you to be A hell of a teacher Yeah And I feel like Teaching is your niche mm. You know what I mean Yeah so, I love to inspire and motivate Uh huh I like that You know what I'm saying I, I like to You know speak life into people I like to cause It made me feel good And that's like What I learned from Russell Simmons I was listening to him speak 15 And he was saying that If you want to be a millionaire You got to make other people millionaire And I ain't I ain't understood I ain't understand it Until Early 2020 It ain't hit me to I ain't figure out The formula to that To then mm. And it been On and popping Pandemic Yeah Pandemic birthed me To be able to Take what I know How to do for myself And implement it to others And create results Like turn zeros Into heroes mm. So So I was able 2020 I was able to take my goal was to take six new businesses from scratch. When I mean, like, I call them LLCers. You know, you, all you got is LLC. You ain't got no niche. You ain't got no business. Anything it's like a, hey, it's a million of y'all motherfuckers out yeah. there, too. And I'm tired <laughs> of y'all motherfuckers saying that just, y'all got business and y'all just on L, goddamn LLC. Like, do some work. If you yeah. get them motherfuckers, learn what to do with it. It's a million things you can do with it. It's a business. Yeah, it's, it's a entity, business. Corporation. It's an so make something out of it. Don't just say you got it. Yeah. All right, yeah. So my saying is, like, find your niche, then get rich. You find your lane, you find your lane, you're gonna maintain. You find your calling, you're gonna start balling. Like, it's no going outside of that. Find Clearly. your lane. Clearly, he a rapper too. <laughs> Shout out got balls. <laughs> Shout over here is dropping. I'm thinking this Freestyle Friday in that bit. I'm finna go on and crank the beat up. <laughs> nah, for real. Uh-huh. I, I, like, I, so it's like, my lane, my niche was I wanna sell products to the government 
that's non reusable. So they gonna always so need to come back. Always gotta come back. Dope bet. You move like a real dope boy in the corporate world. You move like that. I've been trying to hold that in. You said that earlier. You said that. See, I give pr- pr- credit to this guy. All right, keep me going. Thank you. You know, so it's like I wanted to find a lane. All right, what's non reusable? Gloves, mm. hand sanitizer, masks, mm. body bags. So a lot of body bags to feed one. <clears throat> you can't reuse body bags? Huh? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. Feel like <laughs> wouldn't nobody really mind. <laughs> <laughs> Complaining. You know, uh, pens, ink, you know, toner. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know, tissue paper towels, all those type of things that you can't, you know, you use all the time, but you can't reuse them. So that means that you're purchasing them even every month or every quarter. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or annually, like it's always purchasing it. And I just wanted to be the guy to be able to, to, to supply. I wanted to be the company, excuse me, to be able to, to supply that. Mm. So I could always carry the cash flow. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I like I stayed in that, and I always stayed on a certain threshold where I'm not bidding, I'm not submitting bids, like right. email, purchase order, phone call. Can you provide this? Can you do this? You know, yeah, because it's under certain th- threshold. They hit with the um, the purchasing card, credit card. They buy it from you, mm-hmm. and you able to create cash flow like that. And the, and and then next thing you know, the banks, the banks like, okay, you for real. Bank ain't take me serious. You know, and this 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 is with the that's with the contracting or the education side. That's what this the, the contracting for my niche. Uh huh. On the education side, my goal was twenty twenty. Take six new business. Like I wanted to do something impactful to my to my own goal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my goal was to show how real this is. You know that you don't need much. You just got to have a working mindset and be able to connect the dots and put everything together. Mm-hmm. I said, my goal is to take six new businesses from scratch to six figures and contract value by the end of 2020. We exceeded that. We did eight new businesses and we did it less than a year. We did it in like nine months and two out of the eight businesses did over seven figures. Mm. Them like extra them yeah, the extra two is just like no man, really extra I didn't even put no credit. Yeah, I didn't even put no I didn't even broadcast, I didn't really put no light on it. I didn't really like cap or well, talk my shit on that, like really, you know what like I mean? You could have. Like I could have. It like was just more like have. it was my accomplishment. It was like, yeah, I knew that. I did that. That's what I'm proving. You should like, have. I got we got receipts, you know. Post that Instagram, you know? Mm-hmm. To show that it could be done. All you gotta do is apply yourself. Motivate these niggas. Yeah. So 2021, I want to double up. I said I want to take 12 new businesses. You feel me? This is my last year working with new businesses. Right. So I said I want to take 12 new businesses. So I'm at nine. I'm at nine right now. Wow. You know, but but you know, we got like three weeks left, four weeks left until this year. Like, so I'm rolling up my sleeves, you know, being hands on. I want to hit my goal. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But to be able to do nine, that just it's so just what you need three more, right? Yeah. Say 12. Yeah. yeah. Three more in three weeks. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I, I think four, four of them, four of them secure multi seven figure contracts. You don't think that kind of <laughs> don't don't the, when you secure it because you just said six figures. I'm trying to take them to six figures. Man. Yeah, four of them secure it seven. So it's sure, over exceeded. Yeah, you over exceeded. It, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I like they, to meet or exceed, baby. Over deliver. Over if, deliver. You, if you over deliver, you're gonna get overpaid. Yeah, yeah. You really got to stop being humble. And anything you do. When you over deliver, you're gonna overpay. You're gonna get overpaid. I agree with the humble shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck mm. that humble shit. Fuck like, I, humble I, like shit, what you say, I agree with what you said because it's not many people that are able to articulate what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So being humble is cool, but let's not play. <laughs> this shit is not fucking easy. What you're doing is not easy. It's not a fucking walk in the park. It is not Absolutely. goddamn. It's not waking up in the morning and, and just saying to send emails th- like you make. Yeah, you like we're not going. We're not going to make. We're not going to sit right here and make that shit seem simple. It's not. It's definitely not. But but it's it's work behind it. Look, Brady won't be Brady if he didn't stay consistent in practice. What's crazy is I was about to compare the. You said what's the biggest contract? Mm-hmm. The Brady thing. Your goal is to get the first down. He don't always go for the fucking long throw. 
Right, right. You do the short passes to reach the fucking first downs and then get to the touchdown. Exactly. So it's baby steps. Small steps towards the big goal every day. It's small yeah. steps towards the big goal every yeah. day. It's do the fucking small steps towards the big goal every day. Like mm-hmm. people get this big old idea, like, oh man, I got I, I, this. Is where I want to be at. I want to have million dollars. All right, that's a good aspiration. How the fuck you gonna get there? They what you gonna to do to today to get there? Steps. Yeah, what you gonna, what gonna do, do tomorrow to get there? What so you gonna do in the next step. thirty days? We gonna do the next quarter? We gonna do a new year? Like you gotta break the goals down small and just do it. Small steps every day. Then you look up thirty days. You're like, damn, I accomplished that in thirty days. Well, damn, I did that in six months. Well, damn, I'm here in twelve months. Like that's how it works. I call it uh, compound goal interest. That's how. That's what I call it. Compound goal interest. Yes, sir. Did you make that up? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm gonna steal it. You just compound your goals. You know, you're gonna get return on it. You're gonna get your ROI. You're gonna get your return on your investment. You just compound yourself with action steps. Uh huh. Okay, today I'm gonna create the business. Next day I'm going to get my EIN. Next day I'm gonna do bank account. Next day I'm gonna learn this. Yeah. Less day, and like, it don't take all day too. You take a couple this, couple minutes out your steps. day. Mm-hmm. Do that towards the big goal every day, and then get on to the next step. Read, you know what I'm saying? Read some twenty minutes a day. So I've been. I was gonna ask you about that because you're into a lot of self education. Yeah. So I'm all. I'm all for do for self. All right. So how do you? That's how how do raised. you? What's your What's your schedule on? Educating Hamza um, All the time Keep an open mind Period You gonna always learn No I'm talking about like get, Like just how you saying We read 20 minutes a day Like Yeah every, So, so I do to do. educate himself Yeah Yeah so I read um, I read About an hour in the morning Every day Of How to do books You know I like more of you know uh, giving me some actionable steps. I like to lead with a, a POA, plan of action, what I need to do based off what I read. Um, mm-hmm. Then also in my car when I when I drive because we 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 be in our cars more than we be at home. You do audio or traveling? I do audio, man. I follow audio books. I rarely listen to music. If I I don't listen to anything, or I will listen to some motivational tapes, or I will listen to audio books. Mm. What type of music you listen to? When I do listen to music, um. I like jazz. I like um, R and B. And then if I want to listen to like some rap or something like that, I'm gonna listen to Mazi. Speaking of Mazi, you and him were pretty close. Oh yeah, that's my brother. Explain that relationship. Um, our relationship was like family. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. We were stuck together like Siamese twins. <laughs> So you know, um, there was a period of time I remember y'all niggas. I I never seen one without the other. Yeah, we were locked in. Yeah, and uh, and the thing about it, man, Mozzie was so talented in everything that he did. He had the potential to be whatever he wanted to do. He put his mind to it. He's gonna get it done. Yeah, and and uh, I enjoyed watching him watching him grow. You know what I mean? Um, honestly, I can say that. You know That was probably one of the most Influential people in my life Just watching him How he moved How he handled things How he talked to people mm-hmm. How he able to work nothing And turn it into and something turn it into something Yeah Yeah Zero hero type of stuff Yeah He's somebody that I miss I miss his energy. Almost just yes. Like I miss him being around You For know sure. what I'm saying Uh Uh Long live Mizer Long live Mizer Sure we, like, we love you Yes yeah, And mucho man. Yeah, for sure. Show the boss. Show the boss. Yeah, man. So, you know what Mucho told me one day? What did he tell you? Uh, um, he said, uh, "He said it's not about what you do; it's about who you know." Mm. He told me that one day. We were talking about. Um, I was actually me and Mucho both was waiting on this bad business man here was supposed to be cutting out here, but had both of us waiting at the same time. <laughs> and I said. Well, shit, bro, um, I said, you know, I'm up first. He was like, yeah, but shit, you know, I'm up first because he already know I need to be in there too. I said, well, shit, he was like, and about what you got is about who you know. I said, well, shit, we both playing the same card. But in actuality, I'm thinking in my head, like, shit, bro, hold on, bro. I'm in here first, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But shit, we end up chopping game like a fool. Yeah. And shit. Who <clears throat> went first? Bro went first. You know why? I wanted to hear him talk more. Yeah. 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 And keep him in there longer. Because if I get out of the chair, I'm going to be on to the next move. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. 
But now, go ahead. That was up. I'm listening. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That, that, that shit was hard. That's just a, a memory I got with, bro. That was up, bro. So, the round and everything, uh, I feel like, and this is just my opinion, right? Yeah. That goddamn pecan tree set you on a trail of entrepreneurship. Yeah, knowing how to just take from what already you have and make something out of it. And you know, all, all of it stem from... Like I feel like your vision on life be like, oh let me oh that's cool right there let me learn that, then you get it you take an exam and you look at it, and then after you finish looking at it, you like oh it's a chip right there I got the only one with this little chip, All right I'm finna exploit this motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> and it's taking value and creating leverage. Mm-hmm. So that's something that I learned from you. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Once you got value in something, you take it and examine it and say, oh, shit. Ain't nobody else got this. I, I'm the only one with this. Yeah. Let me explore it. So I want to appreciate you. Man, grand gratitude, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's SC44, man. SC44 on your hoe. Boom. You got the, the biggest global connection leader in this mother. Let's get it. Yeah, what people can handle me yet, bitch. Huh? What can people find yet? Oh, they can find me on uh, Instagram, global leader underscore. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, global connects. And, uh, I mean, you can catch me out here in East Atlanta. <laughs> you gonna, gonna see him somewhere <laughs> near, de- definitely by me somewhere. <laughs> Everybody know we, we, we ain't too far away from each other. For sure. Hey, man. Hey. Juju being 888. Matter of fact, I got a uh-huh. What else you got? I got a track for y'all. Nigga, play it. A song? Hold on, get up. Look, look, we're gonna put him on the thing. Oh Lord. <laughs> put him on the thing. Hey, uh Hey Twin, after we shoot this, we're gonna shoot the drops. And uh we're gonna have his song playing in the beginning. I don't know what uh what's the Bluetooth? It, Bro, yeah, hold on. Let me turn it off. I was already on there? Uh uh-uh. uh. Okay. Let me turn it off. Oh, let me finish my let me finish my clothes out. But I mean, y'all know it's the small steps towards the big goal every day. Global Connect, CEO, Hamza Sabri. Just strive to be the best version that you possibly can be. Max yourself out. Tap yourself out. Max yourself out. Stretch yourself. Do more that you did yesterday, today. And then today, tap in and go for the win. Let's get it. That was hard. That was amazing. Who phone ring? Hey nigga we'll the Hey <laughs> These niggas gonna have to start Paying us For that goddamn game These niggas be giving bro Yeah that was amazing bro Man for what I, I feel like I learned some more About government contracting That I Well I don't know nothing about it But I feel like I learned something about it Huh bro like I'm ready yeah. to go start Oh you ready to turn up Nah not really Not really <laughs> <laughs> Well let's get it uh, it's, it's on bro What's on? Oh, oh, you oh, oh, I need to connect. Oh, I'm slow. Crazy ass man. Y'all know. Told you he was in here acting old with these goddamn phone. <laughs> when it comes to SB, <laughs> Grand, <laughs> Grand, <laughs> Grandpa hands up. Oh, uh, no, no. That's that's my likes, man. Get off my likes. What's that, Rollcaster? It's, it's Rollcaster Pro. Oh, okay. And you're trying to control the lights, man. Don't nobody control the lights but me. Is it on Don't search? Touch my goddamn lights. Is it on search? You got it? It looked like it said connected. Oh, it's, oh I didn't see that. <laughs> you need some motivation. <laughs> Who you talk to? You? Nah, bro. I got all my motivation. You need some? You need a little bit of motivation? Welcome, 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 hey. welcome, welcome. <laughs> Is that hustler's motivation? Yeah. You ready? It's you. Where are my hustlers at? My go getters, my businessmen, my business women, my nine to fivers. I'm talking directly to you. It's glow. It's glow. We glow. We glow. I got that motivation go. out coming one on one. The hustle motivation out one on one. So you feel me? Right. Motivation talking. Spit. So you gonna shine bright. You feel me? What you thinking? You feel me? We go. We go. We go. We go. Now pay attention. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Y'all nigga yeah. waiting nigga on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah nigga is motivation <laughs> nigga <Pay> attention <laughs> 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 Hey hey nigga hey, that fool hey, hey, nigga hey, hey, that nigga for a verse the whole time nigga I want to song her nigga you will put a tang on that motherfucker We go What's the mind frame of a hustler yeah mind frame of a hustler What's the mind frame of a hustler So you going back to add that verse? What's the mind frame of a hustler? Yeah, mind frame of a hustler. He don't do no damn verse. He got to. He's in. He's in. He's in motivation. What's the mind frame of a hustler? Yeah. What's the mind frame of a hustler? Make something out of nothing. The struggle made me humble. The struggle gave me hunger. The struggle gave me hustle. Turn a single to a double. Turn a single to a double. Pay attention to the mission when you're handling your business. Lord, be my witness if you stick to the vision. We'll see your ticket, yeah, that's a milli or a billy. I really ride in my city. I'm really from my city. I really serve my city. Them contracts, them backpacks, them red tracks, them paper plates. We used to landscape. <laughs> Tell them this shit. So, oh yeah, we you you, you, you know, right. we can't wait. I cannot wait. Tell me that. Hey man, listen, you need to try this shit again. You 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 fucked it up for me, man. You really fucked. You really fucked it up for me, man. With the rap trash and paper plate. I couldn't even hear the song. These nigga talking too much. I'm trying to hear what you saying. You was at the end. Are you actually listening now? Yeah, nigga. Are you listening to something now? This nigga. <laughs> Why did nigga talk to you like that? <laughs> bro, Shada can't see me, bro. Shada can't see me with your shades on street. Shada can't see me. Bro. Hey, bro.